This video is part of an audiobook series featuring The Maxwell Daily Reader, 365 Days of Insight to Develop the Leader Within You and Influence Those Around You, written in 2007 by John Maxwell. For more audiobooks, please visit my YouTube channel, find me on Spotify, or visit my website for downloads. October 12th, Fear is a Part of Progress. One of the secrets of success is not letting what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. Today, I am most known for my public speaking, but when I first started speaking, I wasn't effective. I remember being really fearful. Then, when I got the chance to speak at an event as a senior in college, I was terrible. People who knew me then described my speaking style as stiff, but I kept at it. I began to study effective communicators and spoke to small audiences at every opportunity. It took me seven years to become comfortable with speaking. Only then could I develop and hone my communication style. In time, I got chances to speak to larger audiences. The first time I spoke to over a thousand people was at Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Columbus, Ohio in the 1970s. In the 1980s, I spoke to an audience of 10,000 for the first time during a youth rally at the University of Illinois. Then, in the 1990s, I spoke to 68,000 people at the RCA Dome in Indianapolis. And in the 2000s, I've spoken live in events that were simulcast to even larger audiences. I don't tell you this to brag. I say it because when I was afraid during that first speaking engagement, I had no idea where it would lead me. But I didn't let my fear rule me. Instead, I accepted it as the price I would have to pay for personal progress. Shakespeare said, quote, He is not worthy of the honeycomb that shuns the hive because the bees have stings, end quote. Don't let your fear keep you from taking small steps in your development. You never know where they might lead. Put fear aside and take a small step to further develop yourself today. Hey, you're awesome, and don't forget it. Now go out there and change the world. Or stick around and listen to some more audiobooks. You can find all the audiobooks I produced in this playlist or just more by John Maxwell right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.